Well, uh, there are three takeaways uh, from the election results. Uh, clearly, in both the states, the Congress-led opposition is on the resurgence. It is also clear that the elections were fought on local issues and the credit for the performance of the Congress must go to their local leadership of this party in Haryana and in Maharashtra and the able management of the internal issues of the organization by Shrimati Sonia Gandhi. It is also clear to me that uh, the voter is wise and no government or party should ever take the voter confidence uh, for granted. Quite clearly, the morality of democratic mandate in Haryana, at least, uh, demands that a non-BJP government be installed. We have also seen from Karnataka that when the chief ministership is offered to a party with lesser numbers, there are contradictions. Therefore, consistent with the democratic mandate, the largest opposition party in the state ought to be offered the chief ministership. Mr. Dushan Chutala has done well. He has age on his side. He will clearly play a very significant and a constructive role. I think whatever may be the constitutional position of inviting the single largest party to form the government as is being debated on some of the TV channels and that may well be true in the first instance. Yes. But the numbers in Haryana clearly tell a story and the story is that it will be a non-BJP government no, but in the Ashwini, state. Ashwini in Kumar, sorry, Maharashtra, Ashwini Kumar, Congress sorry, has done well. Ashwini Kumar, before you come to Maharashtra, how would you make that claim? Because if you look at the picture at the moment, the BJP is at 42. That's just three seats away from a halfway mark. Congress is at 27, JJP is at 12. So, well, you know, they both constitutionally, ethically, morally, well, well, if they don't they have, they, they have the first dibs to be able to stake yeah, claim well, to form a government? No. Yeah, yeah. No. They don't. No, if they have a majority of their own, certainly they must form the government. But if they fall short of the majority, please do not forget that the, that the decline of the BJP shows that the popular vote in Haryana is against the party. But, but, in case they get a majority of their own, certainly. But I think the, even though the mandate is fractured in favor of the opposition, if the opposition were to come together on the basis that the people have actually uh, voted against the ruling party, then consistent with the morality of democratic politics, they should join hands. Whether they are able to do but so or not on account of vanities or other issues, that's another this matter. Pre-alliance. But this is, but this is, Ashwini Kumar, exactly what happened in but, Karnataka. But, clear, but clearly, this is what BJP happened in Karnataka and, and look at how that ended. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you are, but you are right. That's why I said the mistake in Karnataka was that we gave the chief ministership to a party with far lesser numbers than the Congress party. That is not the mistake we should be doing in Haryana, That's I think the leader of the Congress with the largest number of seats well, the Congress ought is to be rejected given at 28 the position of, of the Chief Ministership. Clearly, Mr. Bhupinder, clearly Mr. Bhupinder Singh Huda is the man of the moment. And, and I'm, sure, I'm sure Mr. Dushan Chutala, uh, who has age on his side, will be able to see the logic of supporting uh, uh, Mr. Huda. Well, it's nice that you're carrying out those negotiations on national TV. I, I, I think that bodes well for how it's going to go behind Already the scenes. Already the government Ashwini in Kumar. Haryana, coalition yeah. government has been formed. I can formed. see. The, yeah, exactly. Well, and, you know, well, with these nothing, conditions that it well, has Nidhi, to be the Congress. Nidhi, huh. Nidhi, well, well, Nidhi, in democratic politics, there's nothing behind the scenes and off the scenes. Everything is out in the open. <laughs> People who are there know what is happening. We know what is happening. The idea is BJP would try to keep the non-BJP parties out, Congress and others will try to keep the BJP out, and we know what the arithmetic is. So, well, politics is the game of the possible, isn't it? <laughs> Except that I, I, I'm asking you, you know, you, you, you're a lawyer, you've been the law minister, <clears throat> legally what is the position? Should the single largest party not be first called to <laughs> form a government? Uh, is, is that not what is normally done? Well, that has been the precedent. The leader of the single largest party in the first instance has a right to be asked to form the government. But it has also happened in the past that the leader of the single largest party, knowing that eventually it, it will not be able to muster the numbers, has declined the invitation. But even if, even if the sing leader of the single largest party is invited to form the government, he will have to prove the majority on the floor of the House and they would know whether the number packs in, pack, are packed in their favor or not. 
Okay. I think rather than suffer a defeat on the floor of the house, uh, one can do better than uh, than decline. But if they okay. are confident that they will be able to muster support, then certainly they will accept the invitation.